Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, something a little bit special today. We're going to look at this book. Um, you've probably already seen the, the title and thumbnail for the video. Um, but I'm going to suggest that this book describes a 200 year old model railway. Um, so let's set some kind of boundaries and restrictions on, on what we mean so that we don't um, upset too many historians or try and claim anything that we can't prove. Um, so firstly, we're never going to be able to prove exactly what the first um, model railway was. Um, lots of people involved in the early days of um, working out steam engines and steam locomotives and things built working models. So Trevithick had many small working models. There's a model of Salamanca um, that's more than 200 years old, things like that. But what I haven't seen in any of those is um, a description of a model railway as such um, or a train set. What they usually are are kind of either engineering prototypes that are testing a specific thing or a specific design um, just to prove that it works um, or a marketing tool. So here's a model of the locomotive I'm going to build for you type thing. Um, but I want to say that a model railway or train set, however you want to describe it, needs three things. So it needs a locomotive that's powered. Um, so I'm not talking pull along or anything like that. I'm thinking, given the time, live steam or clockwork or something like that. It needs track to run on and it needs something to pull. So wagons, coaches, whatever you, you want, probably wagons, given that it predates public railways um, and passenger railways. So I don't think any of the early engineering and um, kind of marketing models fit that criteria. Um, now, obviously, we'll never know for certain. So I'm not claiming that this book describes the first model railway. It might. I can't I can't prove that. But I think I, I want to try and show you that it does at least describe a 200 year old uh, model railway. And of course, 200 years old now means that what's in here date, predates the opening of the Stockton and Darlington Railway, which everybody's going to be celebrating 200 years of next year in 2025 as the kind of opening of the first kind of public passenger railway. Um, so I think this is important. Um, and I think it's been kind of overlooked and lost to, to history to some extent. So I think it'd be, it's nice to kind of bring it back um, out into the open. Um, so let's start with, you know, if you Google what's the first model railway at the moment, you don't get this. So it's not it's not out there kind of already. What you get is usually references to a Wikipedia page um, that talk about a railway set up for the Prince Imperial um, in the grounds of Chateau de Saint Cloud in, in France. Um, it, it, yeah, Napoleon Prince Imperial, three year old son of Emperor Napoleon the Third. Um, and um, the article um, has a link to another book with a reference. I, I don't trust Wikipedia on its own, but I'll, I'll look up the references. Um, so I bought a copy of this. It's actually in German. Annoyingly, having bought this, I found there is actually an English translation as well. But um, we'll look at the German version. Um, so it has a picture here, um, which has a kind of figure of eight of track, locomotive, two wagons, Station building, it's got a couple of sets of points, uh, a straight track joining these two parts, the figure eight. It's not very clear um, photo. And unfortunately, um, the f original, I think, is now has now vanished. But given that this photo was the basis of a woodcut engraving that appeared in the 8th of October, 1859 issue of Le Mans, the photo is old. Um, so um, it's exceptionally well detailed for what it for what it is um so the woodcut's quite nice as well i don't have a, a copy i can have you know copyright off to show you there's a, an electronic version online if you want to go look up um there's one on wikipedia there's one on le mans uh website as well um but it definitely does show a model rail where we've got track we've got a locomotive we've got wagons and the description in the le mans illustrated article when you translate it says that the locomotive has wheels driven by an internal spring, which can be wound up as desired. So that's powered, it's running. That, I think everybody will agree, is a model railway. But 1859 isn't 200 years ago. 200 years ago is 1824. So that's quite a bit earlier. 
um, as I say, to put that into some kind of um, context, um, by April 1824, as far as I'm aware, the Stockton and Darlington Railway hadn't even um, asked Stevenson to um, build locomotion uh, for the opening of the railway. Um, it's like four years before Rocket wins the the the, the Rainhill Trials. Um, we're talking just over a decade, twelve years or so after Salamanca um, started to be used commercially at Middleton Railway. Um, so this is really really early. Um, so let's have a look at what this book is. So this book is a bound volume of the um, Glasgow Mechanics magazine, and. Um, what I want to find is, so yeah, I bought this one, which is an 1829 uh, reprint. So the problem with that is that um, if you look at any of the issues within it, they're not individually dated. It just says new edition. Whereas in the original um, first edition of this, each has a date on it. Um, but let's have a look at the particular article we're interested on in which starts on page 257 and here we have a what looks like a, a an early steam locomotive and it says locomotive steam engine okay so um so yeah so we have the we have the drawing and then we have this kind of almost two page um description most of this first page um, it's just somebody kind of giving the very early history of, uh, of steam locomotive. Um, but then we get um, a description of the locomotive. So specifically we get um, that the fact that the boiler is made of sheet copper and the engine, which is brass work, is placed at one end of the boiler. The size of the model is only five times larger than that is in, in the drawing of figure one. Um, so that's this. Now, I don't know whether this was printed at the same size when they were printed as individual kind of papers rather than bound issues but um I, I don't know but either way five times the size of this is still not necessarily huge and i think that's accurate given the rest of the description now what it goes on to say is about figure two which annoyingly in this issue is missing it should be here so i've actually bought a second copy of the book um which has actually been more recently rebound so i'm a bit happier to hold it because it's less likely to fall apart um, but let's find page 257 again uh, there we go so now you can see this diagram now the diagram and the text aren't necessarily going to be very easy to see on the video um, i'll put a link in the description i'll put a scans of these pages in a google drive folder so people can go away and have a, a proper read and a proper look um, and see what they think but um the, the description now about the cross section and how it works, which is all this section, uh, makes a lot more sense when you have the the other the other the other um, description. Now, um, as I say, this isn't dated. The new edition, no date. Um, if you look at the first edition, which is available on Google Books, you'll find it's dated to the twenty fourth of April, eighteen twenty four. Um, but specifically, the description of the the locomotive written by the engineer who made it, um, which is signed JC, and we'll come back to who they are in a minute, um, says Anderson's Institution, April 21st, 1824. Um, so that's the date. And um, we'll, we'll ignore the description for now. You can go read it yourself on the scans as to how it actually works. But what it says at the end is, when the engine is to be set at work, the furnace is charged with ignited charcoal, which soon raises enough, uh, enough of steam to make the carriage travel off with a number of loaded wagons behind it around the lecturer's table on a circular road, eight feet diameter. Now, it says circular road, so I don't know whether that's a uh, track or whether that's um, kind of a guide on the outside of the wheels to make it go around in a circle. But either way, we have um, some kind of track or road surface. We have a powered locomotive and we have wagons being described in use April 21st, 1824. Um, and we actually know that this not only was the description given, but the, the thing was demonstrated in a public lecture. So it gives here, 
The above is a short description of the beautiful model of the locomotive steam engine, which performed its part so admirably at the lecture given by Dr. Yeo for Mr. Cross's children. We are indebted to the maker of the model for this account of it, and it is no small merit that a mechanic should be able to give such an elegant drawing and description of his own machinery. Um, we understand that he intends to construct an engine on the same plan to be only three inches in length. This will be unquestionably one of the eighth wonders of the world. Um, so, you know, my my feeling about this is that this is a description of a 200 year old model railway being publicly demonstrated. Um, and in fact, um, I've been able to do a little bit more research. The, um, the Anderson Institute became University of Strathclyde eventually um, over a number of kind of um, changes and um, their um, their minute books, their quarterly meeting minute books, um, I'm just reading from my notes so I get it right, it says uh, the chairman laid before the meeting a letter from Mr Cross of Paisley offering the model of his weaving machine as a present to the institution and requesting the trustees to allow a lecture for his benefit to be given by Dr Ure which Dr. Ura generously agreed to give, but that within these few days Mr. Cross had died. The trustees resolved that such a lecture be given for the benefit of Mrs. Cro Mr. Cross's numerous young, young family, uh, and that they'll, they'll patronise it themselves. So that's in the minute books, um, and dated the 22nd of March, 1824. So obviously this public lecture was, was planned for about a month, probably before it was given, or just less than a month before it was given. Um, and, um, yeah, so... The rest of the video I'll talk about a bit about um, who JC might be um, but if you um, but I think that's the, that's the main the main point this is a description of a 200 year old model railway I can't I can't see that you can kind of view it really any other way um, there is I have talked to some of the people about this um, I'm not gonna say who they are because they um, we were originally, well, I was originally thinking of trying to publish this as an article and a number of people did kindly review things for me, but it was, without being able to say it's definitely the world's first, um, a lot of magazines, they couldn't see an obvious hook into what they kind of publish. Uh, and again, I'm not going to name the magazines, they were all very helpful, very polite, everybody I spoke to was lovely, it was just difficult to figure out a way of um, a way of presenting it, really, um, especially given I wanted to try and get it presented for the 200th anniversary um, if we'd had more time maybe we would have been able to um, to do something but there is a there is a suggestion that they're not entirely sure from the description how it works um, so um, as I say I'll put the scans of the the, the three pages in a, a Google Drive and people can have a look um, if anybody fancies trying to build a version um, I'm a modeler I'm not an engineer live steam would scare me um, I'd love for somebody to try and build it and prove it works um, I think that would be the ultimate kind of proof that this thing um, was 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 sensible uh, and working. Uh, I mean, it's difficult. It's difficult to know, given we know the, the lecture happened and the description and everything. It's it's difficult to kind of um, discount it as not not being real, even if we don't understand the the description fully. Um, so yeah, I'd love to see one working. I'd love to see one only three inches in length as well. But um, I'd happily go with one five times the size in the drawing. Um, so who's James JC is the question so who is this builder of this early model railway well um, there's a um, article on an earlier page page 112 I think um, yeah here so it says we are informed that our townsman James Cook Esquire engineer is at present making a new steam boiler with flues after the manner of those using steamboats to be presented to Anderson's Institute it is to be mounted on a carriage with wheels for the more easily moving it from one part of the building to another after use. It is as large, we believe, as will supply all the engine models of the institution at one time, whereby the student will be gratified with a view of the whole from those of Newcomb and Savory to the latest improvement as the locomotive. Such a complete set of working models is rarely, if ever, to be met with in any institution but itself. So um, this is obviously talking about kind of some kind of boiler for producing steam that you could then plug into other models, essentially rather than the locomotive uh, you know kind of completely standalone locomotive um but it's interesting that it mentions um james cook so james cook um a well-known engineer in um in glasgow um operating from a large works in 1824 in the tradeston area um cook street in glasgow apparently is named after him um so um 
yeah, it's it's quite likely that the JC mentioned for the dis for, in the description of the of the locomotive is is James Cook. Um, it would make the the most sense. Um, so we could possibly consider him the father of model railways as well as as a as a, an excellent engineer. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, um, the model has obviously been lost to the, the mists of time. As I say, I, I spoke uh, with the University of Strathclyde. They were happy to look through their minute books and things for me to find the description of the lecture being planned, uh, but they have no reference of the model um, in their in their archive. Um, I mean, it's 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 not a it's not a particularly um, you know there's there's nothing obviously kind of stands out as kind of really um, you know. If you were to see it sat in a shop somewhere in, a, in an antique shop, would you recognise it from this drawing? I don't know, uh, but obviously, if anybody does recognise it uh, and knows where it is now, even better. Um, something tells me it's not it's not going to turn up now. Um, but um, I think it's interesting. I think it's, it's two hundred years old, so we might as well talk about it as an anniversary. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, a quick little bit of history. Um, you know. Uh, Wikipedia can be wrong, let's put it that way. Um, so I think I think we shouldn't assume um, that the, the railway at Chateau St. Cloud um, is the first model railway. Um, at the same time, I'm not trying to claim that this is the first model railway. I mean, 1824 is very, very early. Um, but as I said, there, there may well have been others before it. Um, but I think it's worth, worth remembering, um, worth bringing to a larger audience um and maybe other people will be able to go off and do um do further research on it that i've not been able to um i i like to think of myself as an amateur historian and a railway modeler um but this is kind of you know trying to reproduce this as an actual mo an actual working model is beyond me um and um i'm definitely putting the amateur label on the historian um so i'd love for people to take uh to take the scans read them through as i say there are versions of the first edition as well with the date on them on Google Books. Um, so um, you can go find all sorts of different versions um, and, and see see what else we can find. Um, and as I say, yeah, I'll, I'll put those in a Google Drive folder and um, do what you want with them. Uh, if anybody wants to correct Wikipedia <laughs> using them, then and then go ahead. Um, that way, I think, as I say, be nice to... Uh, to bring it to a wider wider audience and have it uh, appreciated um, especially as I say as we come up to 200 years of, of the Stockton Darlington it's nice to have another 200 year anniversary to uh, to think about um, so yeah that's that's it for this video um, hopefully we'll get back to some modeling I also have some other history related stuff we'll come to um, but uh, thanks for watching and as I say if you want to uh, want to keep up to date with the videos uh, here. Hopefully I will get back to more regular posting and then um, you know where the subscribe button is. Thanks.